Hello everyone and welcome to Autopedia channel where we dive into the truth about cars. Today we've got two serious contenders in the ring, the 2025 Dacia Bigster and the 2024 Renault Austral. Both are versatile, tech-packed, and ready for any adventure, but which one deserves a spot in your driveway? We'll compare their design, technology, performance, and value to help you decide. Also, drop a comment below and let us know which vehicles you want us to feature in our next comparison. Exterior Design and Dimensions Let's kick things off with exterior design and dimensions. The 2025 Dacia Bigster is all about rugged, no-nonsense design. It stands taller and bolder than its sibling, the Duster, with a length of 4.57 meters, making it one of the biggest in the segment. The extended wheelbase of 2.7 meters ensures it looks imposing and promises more interior space. The Bigster's sharp lines, broad grille, and those standout LED headlights give it a tough, ready-for-anything vibe. Plus, with up to 19-inch alloy wheels, it has a commanding presence on the road. In contrast, the 2024 Renault Austral goes for a sleeker, more refined look. Measuring in at 4.51 meters, it's a bit more compact, but still boasts a premium feel. Renault's signature front grille, combined with the slim, angular LED lights, offers a more futuristic aesthetic. The Austral's design language is modern, and while it may not be as rugged as the Bigster, it certainly delivers a more polished, urban feel. Interior features, technology, and infotainment. Step inside the Dacia Bigster, and you'll find a practical but comfortable interior. It takes inspiration from the Duster, but cranks up the space and functionality. The Bigster is all about usability with well-placed physical controls and a balanced integration of screens. Depending on the trim, you get a 10-inch touchscreen with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. But it's not just about tech. The panoramic roof, ambient lighting, and modular roof rails in the higher trims add a hint of sophistication. On the other hand, the Renault Austral screams high-tech. The dashboard is dominated by dual 12-inch screens for the instrument cluster and infotainment, powered by Renault's OpenR Link system with Google integration. The interior feels much more upmarket, with Alcantara touches, advanced ambient lighting, and a head-up display. The Austral also offers impressive tech features like Google Maps, real-time traffic updates, and enhanced voice controls. If you're a tech enthusiast, the Austral definitely caters more to your needs. Boot volume. Now let's talk storage. The Dacia Bigster is the clear winner here with a massive 667 liters of boot space, making it perfect for road trips camping, or just hauling around family gear. It's versatile too, thanks to a two-level boot floor, a 12-volt socket, and convenient hooks for securing your items. The Renault Austral doesn't quite match up in this department. Its 500 liters of boot space, though practical, falls short when compared to the Bigster. This space drops even more in hybrid versions due to the battery placement, going down to around 430 liters. So, if cargo space is a priority, the Bigster takes the crown. Powertrains and performance. Under the hood, both SUVs offer solid powertrains, but they cater to slightly different audiences. The Dacia Bigster is available with a range of engines, including a 1.8 liter hybrid producing 155 horsepower, giving it a 0 to 100 km sprint time of 9.7 seconds. For lighter needs, you can opt for a 1.2-liter mild hybrid system with up to 140 horsepower, ideal for those seeking efficiency without sacrificing too much power. All variants come with the Eco Badge, 
keeping them city friendly. The Renault Austral, however, focuses more on efficiency and agility. It's available in two main configurations, a 1.3-liter mild hybrid with 158 horsepower or the punchier E-Tech hybrid with 199 horsepower. It's clear that the Austral is tuned for smooth, precise handling, especially with Renault's four-control four-wheel steering system. If you're looking for more of a fun, dynamic driving experience, the Austral has a slight edge here. Safety and crash test results. Safety is always a top priority, and both the Bigster and Austral deliver. The Bigster, although not yet crash tested officially, inherits much of its safety tech from the Duster. You can expect advanced driver assistance systems, ADAS, like lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, and automatic emergency braking. There's also a 360 degree camera system for parking in tight spots. The Renault Austral, with its higher price tag, takes safety a notch further. It boasts a five-star Euro NCAP rating and is packed with features like blind spot monitoring, traffic sign recognition, and rear cross-traffic alert. The Austral also includes Renault's advanced active driver assist, offering semi-autonomous driving on highways. Now, on to pricing, probably one of the most important factors. The Dacia Bigster starts at just under 25,000 euros, which is exceptional considering the space, practicality, and decent tech. It's easily one of the most affordable SUVs in its class. The Renault Astral, however, starts at around 31,000 euros for the base mild hybrid version. While it's pricier, it does offer more luxury, technology, and safety features. The Austral will appeal to those who prioritize tech, comfort, and a premium driving experience, whereas the Bigster is a no-brainer for budget-conscious buyers looking for a lot of car for the money. So which one is right for you? The rugged, affordable Dacia Bigster or the high-tech, premium Renault Austral? The Bigster wins on space, value, and rugged practicality, while the Austral shines in tech, luxury, and driving dynamics. Both are excellent options in the crowded SUV market, but your choice will depend on your needs. Let us know in the comments which one you'd choose, and don't forget to suggest what vehicles we should compare next. Stay tuned to our channel for more updates on the latest automotive innovations, and let us know your thoughts on our video in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep up with the future of driving. Until next time, drive safe and dream big.